All right, hi guys, I'm back. And boy, do I have a video for you today because there's this myth going around that if your snake doesn't like to, doesn't eat, is having a problem eating or starting to eat, or trying to get your snake onto onto um, the type of food that it should be on, that if you wait till you have a thunderstorm and feed on a thunderstorm, your snake will will eat. And uh, this is a long, those are long, this is part of a long list of like tricks to try to get your snake to eat and whatnot. I'm trying to, that's not, th that's not thunder. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put this lid. Uh, let's go down there, I guess. Um, but there's this list going around trying different, trying different ways to scent your, mo scent your mice to get your snake to eat. Well, I have a corn snake that does not, does not really like to eat, uh, for, that will not eat frozen thawed food. And I've had him for a while, and he is, uh, and he's really just put me at wit's end trying to figure out, like, what to do and whatnot. Wait, wait, this tripod has fun legs. Okay. How much of the... Let's see. Tilt it a little bit more. Oh, yeah, well, you can see most of the enclosure like that. Uh, I gotta tilt the camera back. I I don't have a good foundation for the uh, for the cam uh, for the camera to be propped up on. All right, so snake is underneath one of these two hides, most likely. I'm feeding it a small hopper mouse. Uh, he is definitely big enough to eat a hopper mouse. So that's what we're gonna go go for, and it is a frozen thawed mouse. So there you go. Should be pretty good, and let's see which height he is under. He's under this one. Alright. Can you see him? Yeah, you can see him. Alright, so I'm just going to try to feed him. Now this is a thunderstorm. We've had about 20 lightning strikes within a, uh, within a mile. And, uh, this guy hasn't eaten in, um, uh, about two weeks. He does seem to be a little more interested in the mouse than usual. But he might just be looking at it. So when you're feeding a, a corn snake, I find side to side works really well to get their attention. But as you can see, he's not really showing much interest in it. You might think it's too big, but it's it's not too big for him. He can definitely eat this. Uh, but he, but he's only been eating live mice. So, as you see, he's not showing any interest in it. He's not getting defensive. I think he wants to hide, but he's not skittish at all. Uh, he just doesn't seem to be interested. So he's going to go to the other end of the pipe. I'll hold the mouse down at this end. And he'll probably get on and come back down the other end of the pipe that you see him going into. So as you can hear, there is a thunderstorm going on. And so this is just... Um, now he's gone into his, his other hide. So let me put this hide back. And uh, when he gets coiled up in, the, in this in this up uh, this hide in the corner by the mouse, I will go ahead and lift that up, and we will we will once again see him ignoring the mouse. And this is what he does. He he doesn't. Like, he is not getting any visual, any cues that he's interested in the mouse at all. 
He hasn't eaten in, all, in, uh, in two weeks because I'm trying to switch him over to uh, frozen thawed mice instead of off of live mice that he's been on. Live mice have, have plenty of drawbacks over frozen, frozen thawed mice. First off, uh, live mice means you have to get the live mouse live, so it's, it's a problem in logistics. Um, because you have to go to a pet store to get a mouse or breed them yourself. See, so no interest in that mouse. Can you still hear the th uh, thunder going on in the background? So he's just, he's not going to eat it, and uh, just shows you that that whole thunderstorm thing, at least for corn snakes, it doesn't walk. Trying to get a corn snake to eat during a thunderstorm, it doesn't walk. Because uh, we have had about 20 lightning strikes within a mile, we still have a thunderstorm going on, you can still hear the thunder in the background. It's not as loud as it was because you had a constant roll of thunder going uh, a couple of hours ago. But he is not interested in the mouse. He's probably more curious about the lid being off the enclosure than eating the mouse. Come on, it's just like a live mouse. It's warm. It's, it's not too big. I know you can eat it. It is well within your size. And the tail broke off. It's always awkward when the tail breaks off of the off of a pinky. Just put it over here for now. Throw it away later. <laughs> Eat the mouse? Or are you just going to continue to hide? I dropped it because I was switching hands. Well, there you go. Snake does not want to eat a mouse even during a thunderstorm. So, I could try breeding the mouse, but I really don't think it's going to make a difference. In my experience, breeding mice has not really made a difference for corn snakes. Either they're going to eat or they're not going to eat. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put the hide back in the corner for him. And we will try again in a, few, in a few days when another corn snake is ready to eat because I ain't wasting mice for this one I've wasted too many mice on him already and if he doesn't want to eat there's nothing I can do about that Alright guys, well, I could leave the mouse in the enclosure, that's generally the last thing I like to try, because it generally wastes the mouse if he doesn't actually eat it, the mouse has to be thrown away, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here and I'll go ahead and feed the mouse to the uh, another corn snake. Oh, look, looks like she was, she was right there, right, ready to eat anyway. She was going for it. 
Come on. You can eat it. It's not too big for you. It's big, but you got it. And bring you over here. No, oh, you're not going to let me pull you around. I just turned the camera. There she is. You gonna you gonna coil it? Or are you just gonna eat? Let's see. I'm just gonna take a step back. The camera is a it's on a tripod, so I don't really have to do anything here. So I can take a step back and just let her eat, and she doesn't have to worry about me being all that close. She is a possible head palmetto, and because she and because she had been part of, uh, she's been part. She was part of a canceled breeding project with another breeder. That breeder took very good care of her and made sure she was really well fed. So she is a good size. Uh, she might be, she might be, you know, say born in August last year, maybe, uh, like late summer like in late summer or early fall, like that's might have been might have been when she was hatched. But um, she's always been fed very well. And if you if you take good care of your snakes and you feed them, you know, responsibly, feed them often, but still feed them responsibly, they will grow pre pretty good and have a good weight to them. And she definitely has that. I'm going to let her walk the mouse down and uh, claim a hide before I put the... Uh, the hide back, uh, this pipe backwards, where I normally have it. <laughs> 